Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. So in this video, I'll just go through the activating online booking stages. Um, I'll explain everything so that you have complete clarity over what to do. So we've made sure that by taking online bookings, you still have complete control over your business. You'll have full control over things like what service can be, can be booked online, what staff members can be booked online, which staff members can be booked for which services, and you can edit the duration of services depending on which staff member is doing it. So all this and much, much more. Stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. So the first thing we're going to do after having seen my lovely calendar is go to the left hand side and we'll see the online bookings tab. So we start by just adding some simple information about your business. So the company name, email and phone number, just so people can get in touch if they need to. And then a short description, just giving people a bit of an idea of what to expect when they come in. Um, you then have your business type, so all the things that your businesses will be carrying out. Mine is hairdressing, massage, grooming and barbershop. Um, but of course it completely depends on what your you know, business is. Then you add some photos, I've done that there. You know, we really recommend that you do add photos, it just gives your profile a really, really nice professional look. You then enter your opening hours. So this will just be guidance shown on your profile page. Um, it won't actually stop someone from booking with you if you say you have Saturday as closed. The only way to do that is to add a block time. That will be the only way that you can physically stop someone from booking online with you over a certain time period is, as I said, through an on, uh, a block time. Uh, and I've explained how to do block times in the Getting Started video. So once you've done that, you press Next or Save and we'll go on to the next step. So now we move on to security. So security is what information will be required of your clients when they're making an appointment. So everyone is required to provide their name and phone number when booking, but it's up to you whether they provide extra information here. So we really recommend that you get them to provide their email address, and this is just because we give out free, uh, free reminders uh, before appointments. The rest of it is pretty self-explanatory, um, but I'll just draw your attention to this down here. So allow online bookings through the web without clients having to verify phone number. Um, so if you feel like you might need to get in contact with your clients before an appointment, then it's just nice knowing that the phone number they've provided is correct uh, and it's theirs. Um, so if you think that you might need to get in touch, then you can have this box ticked uh, or unticked. And then below is enable screening for online bookings. So this gives you the ability to accept or deny any request that's made. If you have this box ticked, then if I was to book with you, um, you get a request or you get a, a notification saying Jake has booked an appointment for dot 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 service at dot 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 time. You can then either accept it or deny it and I will get a text message saying what the outcome is. Um, so this just gives you full control over who's making bookings with you. Um, uh, but most people don't need it. Um, so again, it's completely up to you. And then we move on to the next stage. So now we're on to services, staff and resources. So this is a little bit more complicated but it's only because we want people to have complete control over their bookings and what people can and can't book with them. So you start by being shown a list of all your service categories, so ladies' hair. So you open that up and you see your services. If you then press edit, you have all these options here. So you can add a picture and a description of the service. And then you can have, uh, you know, so here is, you know, available staff member required. If a service doesn't require a staff member, then you untick that box. You can also choose which staff members are able to do the service. So if, if there is a staff member that doesn't do this service, you can untick them here. So then also allow clients to select preferred staff member. So if you want people to be able to book an individual that they like for the service, then you obviously have that book's box ticked. Um, they'll still always get the option to select randomly. Um, but if you want people not to be able to pick an individual, then you untick this and there will be randomly allocated one. You then have the option to send a confirmation message once this service has been booked. So if there's anything that you need for them to know before the appointment, once they've booked, um, then you can put it there. And as soon as they've confirmed the booking, they'll be shown that message. Um, and also you have the option to ask a booking question before they've made the booking. This just means that, you know, if there's any really important things that people should know before they've made the booking, just so you know that they've made the right thing, then you can add the question there and they'll be shown as they're making the service or the booking, sorry. So then you do that for all your services and you move down below to staff. So this is where you have the option for staff members to be available online or if you don't want them available online. If you don't want them available online, you can just untick this box here. Um, here we have can be booked online on, and at the moment it says five minute intervals. So all this means is that at the moment you can start an appointment with me at five past the hour at five minute intervals. So you can book an appointment starting from five past, 10 past, quarter past, 20 past, 25 past, half past. 
Um, if you want it to be 15 minute intervals, that means that you can book an appointment on the hour, quarter past the hour, half past the hour, quarter to the hour. If you want to book it on 60 minute intervals, then you can only book me at say one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. So that's when the appointment can start. So if you fill that out, most people will probably have it on five minute intervals if you need to know, squeeze as many people in. Um, but at the moment we'll just do 15 minute intervals uh, and you do that for each staff member. So then you press save and we'll move on to the last stage. So now we move on to the last stage and that's visibility. So where do you want your company to be available for people to book with you? So as a, as a member of Nuna, you get your own bookings website. So that is a, a web page which is just for you um, and it is where everyone can, can search on the internet and book with you. So you can choose your own web address for that. Here we have you know, our one here, but you can choose whatever you want and if it's available, then it's yours. Um, and then you have the option of being available on the Nuna app. So that is both a website and a physical app that people can, can download from an app store. Um, and we really recommend that you do. You know, it's a really, really nice experience for customers to book through the Nuna app. Um, it focuses around loyalty. And so we make it as easy as possible for them to book again with you um, so that you can you know, have a, a loyal, happy and, and regular customer base. So online bookings on your website. As I said, we have the ability to book Nuna, to people, for people to book through Nuna without even leaving your company website. So to do that, you have an iframe. So you allow online bookings, you click here and you get this iframe code. So for, you just insert this onto your current website um, and then a porthole to Nuna will appear so that people can book with you and they're still on your website. And this is really great if you want you know, consistent branding um, and you don't want people to be redirected to another website. It just looks a lot better when they can stay on your company's website and book with you. So if you have a website, do that. If you don't know how to do it, get in touch and we'll help you through it. You then get the confirmation message option. So if you want a confirmation message, once someone's made an online booking, then you type it in here and this will appear when they've booked with you. Um, you also have the option to go to a confirmation page once someone has finished their booking with you. So as soon as they've checked out or they've confirmed their booking, um, and you can get them to go to another page. Uh, as it says here, this is great for Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel, but also if you want them to fill out, for example, a questionnaire before their appointment, you can link it to something like a Google Doc or a, you know, a Google Form so that people can fill out whatever they want, you know, if you have a, a questionnaire before. Um, and this just means that you'll get all the information necessary and customers, as soon as they book, will have to fill out that page. Um, so it's a really great feature that, you know, is really useful. Um, so we really recommend if there is any need for it that you use it. Um, and then once you've done that, you can press save and your bookings will be activated.